What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Today we're reviewing uh, Citrus IPA by Four Pure um, Brewing Company. Um, so a couple of weeks ago uh, we did the Session IPA by Four Pure. Today we're trying the Citrus IPA. Um, again, I've had, like I discussed in the last one, I've had this beer before. It's just been under um, a different packaging for a couple of years now. Um, so in terms of what we're looking at, this beer is 5.9%. Didn't realize it was that strong actually. Two UK units, therefore. Um, it says in terms of its actual style, it's an IPA, which or India Pale Ale is what they say, also by IPA. Um, and obviously, we're going to be looking for orange. Has got to be a clear one. Um, well, Citrus IPA. They say it's vibrant and zesty on the front. And um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, I think it's worth cracking into it. Um, we're trying this review today. Um, uh, on the sofa, um, may or may not be the new sort of area that we review, but we'll try it out and see see how it goes. We've got a few more reviews to shoot uh, today, so you'll see us on the sofa, or me on the sofa, um, as opposed to the usual um, table and chairs that you guys see me at. So, it's a little bit hazy this one. You can clearly see it's a nice orange colour. Um, Really nice orange colour actually, kind of fades up from yellow, I'm not sure if that's because of the shape of the glass or not. We've got this nice kind of um, cloudy, foamy, you know, um, head that's, um, well, depending on how clean the glass is, going to give some good lacing hopefully. Nice, nice wax of orange there. Just going to see, it does actually say the citrus fruit in this, and it does smell a little bit different. To perhaps what we imagine with a beer that's got like just like citra hops or very like orange, um, orange flavoured hops, if that makes sense. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Cheers. Really big orange, really big um, citrus, definitely. It's funny, it's got, <clears throat> it's got some it's kind of um, malty bitterness on the end of it. Um, it is zesty. It's not too sweet, actually, which is quite nice. Quite nice and refreshing, um, actually. Um, it has got barley in it. I don't know if that perhaps impacts um, and gives it that kind of more malty flavour. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know about that. Um, but yeah, it's a nice one. Quite, quite, uh, quite bitter, actually, but that's... Um, it's still got enough kind of orangey, citrusy flavours to not be overpoweringly bitter either. You kind of get like orange peel type flavours alongside the, um, the slightly sweet orange flavour as well. Almost a bit grapefruity. I know it's only a citrus IPA, it's not saying it's an orange IPA. I'm only kind of associating it with orange because of the can artwork but um, and also because the beer is quite orange but all in all this is actually an alright beer like pretty decent I don't think it's too bad I would have I don't know if I've missed it but I would have liked to know what the hops are um like I say not sure if I've missed it it might be on untapped but just not on the can um I picked this beer up I'm pretty sure in Tesco so I don't think it's going to have a huge amount of information because uh, as, as I often talk about, I feel like it's kind of a beer that's, that perhaps was craft but needs to be popular enough within the masses. Um, so it kind of ticks like, kind of straddles the sides between mainstream and craft beer. Um, but yeah, this is, a, this is a nice one. It is zesty, it's grapefruity, it's, it's bitter and malty a little bit. Um, so pretty well rounded actually. Slight artificial smell of um, of orange as you go in, but no, it's um it's a nice beer, nice um nice hoppy flavours, um nice bitterness, but without it being ultimately like too bitter. So I think in terms of what I'm going to rate it, I'm going to give this one a three point seven five. Pretty enjoyable, pretty nice. I wouldn't say there's a huge amount of um, depth, hence why I was sort of mentioning the kind of trying to appeal to the masses thing. It's not trying to be too daring. I, I wouldn't say. Um, let me know if you guys have had this one. Um, I'm almost sure you probably would have done, because um, it's a pretty popular one. And um, like I say, you can definitely find it in um, 
<sighs> in, a, in any supermarket really. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this review. Um, let me know what you guys are drinking um, recently. And um, in terms of a beer that you've had recently, let me know if you've had a New Zealand uh, IPA or New Zealand Pale Ale recently. The one that uh, I tried to, to get one the other week um, in a super, uh, not in a supermarket, in a very 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 well known um, national pub, nationwide is the word I mean, not national, um, nationwide chain of pubs. I'll leave you in suspense. And uh, it was all sold out, and they didn't advertise it, which was a bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, so let me know if you've had a New Zealand Pale or IPA. It's been a been a while, if ever, since I've had one. Anyway, guys, let me know what you're drinking. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the beer review. As always, guys, we've always got new beer reviews coming. Um, so I'm sure I'll see you in the next beer review. Peace.